critical race theory, a racist propaganda course, is gaining ground everywhere throughout the Western world. It's also gaining territory here in Sweden. Courses on critical race theory are unfortunately not new to Swedish universities, but Stockholm University has recently decided to introduce a new type of course, more specifically focused on whiteness. The course is called Critical Whiteness Perspectives on Nordic Culture. And what do students learn? Well, they learn, for example, that white wall color is a sign of white power, at least according to one professor at Stockholm University. And if that wasn't bad enough, they also learn that white people are inherently evil and inferior to other races. So this is the trash we're teaching our youth on the taxpayer dime. My next guest is David Johnson a whistleblower and packaging engineer for the multinational conglomerate Hasbro. Hasbro is a billion dollar company that sells children's toys. David says that Hasbro tries to push critical race theory on young children through the branding and the messaging of their products. David leaked insider footage to the organization Project Veritas that later went on to do an expose. Before I invite David on, let's watch a short clip. Children as young as two are already using race to reason about people's behaviors. Two-year-old racist is just an absurd concept. By three to six months, babies are beginning to notice and already express preference by race. By age three, children are already starting to apply stereotypes. They also may use racist language intentionally at this age. David is with us today at Ricks to discuss more and hopefully give us some insight on how to deal with critical race theory. David, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Really excited to talk about some of the issues in, well, both of our countries, actually. Yes, I'm so excited to have you here. It's going to be a really interesting discussion. So just to get started a little bit, for our viewers who don't know, what is critical race theory? Um, sure. So simply put, um, critical race theory is a Marxist philosophy that sees the world at, in terms of oppressor versus oppressed. And in critical race theory, particularly, it sees those who hold and uphold what they call whiteness as the oppressor and those who have it who, who, and those who do not have it as the oppressed. Well, can we basically just say that it's anti-white racism a little bit? Yes, it is anti-white. Um, it is in actually some um, terms, it's, well, it's harmful for everybody, but it does claim that um, white people and people who they say ally with them um, are the oppressed, are the oppressor class perpetually. Yeah, so I've taken uh, social sciences here in Sweden at a uh, university level, and I've you know, come across these theories as well. And it also argues that uh, white people are responsible for everything bad that's going on in the world. And it does have a little bit of hatred in its sentiment, no? It has a lot of hatred in the sentiment. Um, it claims that um, white people are responsible for a lot of the, the ills, whether it be slavery or genocide or just any negative event in history, it will blame on white people, even though if you look back throughout history in any country, you'll find that different tribes, different groups, different countries have had uh, poor relations with each other. And it's not entirely based upon race. But that idea is kind of rooted in the, the racial issues that are in America's past. And they export that, um, that framework and put it onto the rest of the world. Right. So you are, are you currently employed still by Hasbro? Have you been suspended or? I have been suspended. Um, I have reached out to them a couple times, but they have just kind of kept me in the dark and just let me be perpetually suspended. Mm -hmm. um, so I am currently looking for new work. And you've also stated previously that Hasbro is trying to indoctrinate children into critical race theory. Can you explain how they're trying to do that? Sure. So what started all of this is um, <clears throat> I was a contractor for Hasbro in their packaging department. And um, one day I saw on my meeting calendar that I had a, a meeting about critic or racial biases in children. And I knew just kind of reading through the, uh, the details of the meeting that it was going to be about critical theory, um, social justice and intersectionality. 
um, and the goal of it wasn't a goal um, of Hasbro's. It was their one of their partner companies, the Con- the Conscious Kid, who they work with to promote this ideology. And the goal of the Conscious Kid is to use Hasbro as kind of a a vehicle to push this ideology, mainly through marketing, packaging, and uh, product design. And how can you give some concrete examples of that? Like, is it about the way dolls look or can you give some examples? So in the the meeting itself, they didn't give any hard examples about what steps they want people to take directly in the product design. But the their goals are to make sure that every decision in marketing and product and packaging design are made through the lens of critical race theory. And that is to make sure that we are pushing the idea the ideology that we need racial equity in societies and that because Hasbro has such a large reach, they have a responsibility to do that and to teach it to children. And at this meeting, what were some of the things that were said? Um, Things, I think the the most shocking one is that um, white children around the age of, I believe, six months are going to start exhibiting overt racial biases against minorities. White children. Children, yes. Uh, young Children younger than three who are still learning how to walk and talk, they, um, they say that they're going to start exhibiting overt racial biases against particularly black children, but um, just white children in general are going to have... Um, racial bias just, against yeah. minorities. So they're basically calling small children racist. I mean, that's absurd. It is absurd. Um, and their claim is that because they're brought up in a society that has bad racial past, that they're going to just somehow um, just incorporate that into themselves when they're children. They're still they don't understand the concept of race like that's a racism is a really advanced topic to teach children. Whereas um, when I was growing up, you just taught people you don't judge people based on their race or on their sex or on their gender. You just treat them as individuals, which is traditionally an American value. But critical race theory opposes that. And what would Martin Luther King, for example, say about that? He, he said it the best. Um, we need to judge people by the content of their character and their actions and not by the color of their skin. But um, to be an anti-racist, which is the idea, which is what they're pushing, um, anti-racism itself promotes racial discrimination if it is in, if it is done to push racial equity. Yeah. And that's kind of the the core goal of all critical critical theory whether it's critical race theory or critical gender theory which is destroying some other parts of the western world. They always push for equity between whatever identity groups they're pushing. I mean this is just beyond ridiculous. I mean I want to know a little bit, what do you think their intentions are here? I mean, do they genuinely just think that they're being the good guys and curing the world of racism or is it profit that's involved or like, or is it malintent, do you think? Um, I don't like to ascribe intent where I'm not certain. I would like to give the benefit of the doubt and say that they believe they are trying to make a world where there is no racism, no sexism, no discrimination. But the methods they're using to try to get to that goal are counteracting because they're pu- they're promoting racial discrimination. They're promoting sexual discrimination because they want an equitable outcome. Whereas I don't want to live in an equitable, equitable society. I want to live in a free society. People should be free to try and succeed or fail on their own and by their own actions and efforts. And of course, when you say equity, you mean equality of outcome, not equality of opportunity. Yes. Yeah. Um, equality of opportunity, I think, is ideal. We want people to not have barriers in their path towards pursuing whatever it is they want to pursue. I think that is the ideal goal that most people agree with. But to push for equality of outcome, you're saying that no matter what you do, what your choices are, you are only allowed to have what someone else has predetermined you to have. And for in order for that system, <clears throat> excuse me, for that system to maintain itself, there must always be someone above to command what you are receiving. 
Yeah, and that is not freedom. Yeah, I completely agree. Everyone should be equal under the law. Of course, everybody agrees with that. But I also have another question here. I mean, how can we work to solve this issue? I mean, Hasbro is a, a private company and they should be allowed to run their businesses the way they think is correct. But I mean, how do we start criticizing some of this stuff? Hasbro is a, a private company and um, I still, I have asked for their opinion on critical race theory because they have not given their official statement. Mm -hmm. But um, to any company that's pushing critical race theory, critical gender theory, um, I think the best way is to let them know that you are not comfortable with this is to boycott, um, don't buy their products, don't support them financially and let them know with your money this is not okay this is not acceptable this is not something we want to see continued yeah. and crt a critical race theory is obviously a massive issue plaguing the western world i mean it's not only private companies it's also swedish universities i'm sure american universities as well the mainstream media how can just regular people work to stop some of this stuff um, it's, it's a widespread problem for sure. Um, as you've said, American universities have all but fallen. Um, they are just centers for indoctrination. And I say that someone who's gone to university. Um, but the best way for people to just resist this is to speak out. Um, if your company or your social circle or whatever is pushing um, social justice, if they're pushing intersectionality, do not allow it to just continue unchecked. Um, particular, the root of all of this is identity politics. And that just needs to be rejected full stop. Um, we need to treat people as individuals. We need to treat people at, uh, we need to treat people based on what they're doing and their actions, not what they are, what they identify as. And finally, do you have any tips for us Swedes? I mean, we have similar issues, but I think America is actually even worse when it comes to these things. Any tips for us over here? Yes. Um, for I, again, I'm not particularly familiar with the um, the culture of Sweden, but I believe, <clears throat> looking at places like the UK and Scotland, critical gender theory seems to be a, a larger threat to the Western world, um, because <clears throat> while not every country has the the poor race relations that America has in its past, it's kind of easy to argue that, um, at least from a, uh, an intersectional perspective, that men dominate society and therefore men are oppressing women. Reject that ideology. It's mm -hmm. only going to lead to cultural ruin in your country. Thank you so much, David, for being here today. No, oh, thank you so much for having me. Really appreciated this talk and I hope we can find some solutions because like you said, both of our countries are really facing some similar problems. So I think we probably can solve them with uh, similar means. Yes, thank you so much, David. It was a great conversation, and hopefully we can apply some of your tips here as well. So thank you again. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for watching Rick's. Och tack så jättemycket för att ni tittar på Riks. Glöm inte att prenumerera på vår kanal genom att trycka på knappen här nedanför. Och om ni vill ha nya notiser om de videos som vi lägger upp så tryck på ringklockan.